Hello and welcome to this video. This is the second part of the Roman tub build. Um, if you missed the first part, I'll put the link um, to the first part down below. Um, before I get started, I wanted to say, uh, give you a recommendation for uh, my friend has a YouTube channel. I'll link that in the description down below. And um, he also is on Twitch, and if I can, I, I'll try to link that down there too. Um, so uh, please consider checking him out. Um, yeah, so let's get started with the video. So this piece of plywood will be the part you sit on, and I used this keyboard stand for to support it as I was cutting it. I was kind of proud of that. Um, kind of creative solution and so I that, that piece of plywood will go on these three piece or these five pieces of wood that are tapered I think the taper is um, a quarter inch per foot toward the drain and um, then uh, I need to know where to cut the drain in that piece of plywood so I had taped I had the this ring this to seal I don't know what you call that, gasket or something? Um, taped to the drain piece below, and then I pushed it up strongly against the plywood, and it I had tape on that side too, double-sided tape, and it stuck there. So I was able to just trace where it was supposed to go. So there you can see the tape on it. Um, and then, unfortunately, I don't have a hole saw big enough. So I just used the biggest one I had and then used a coping saw to cut out the rest. Um, and then I end up having to hand finish it with this rotary tool, also called a Dremel, um, and uh, until I can get the drain to fit w through well. So there's the plywood for the backrest and once that, since that wooden part was done, I'm on to using the cement board, which is nice. Uh, I started out cutting it with a utility knife, and it worked okay because you can kind of snap it like um, drywall. But um, later, I end up using a diamond blade on a angle grinder. However, this uh, chisel and you. Uh, utility knife worked really well for getting that hole cut. I really didn't want to use a um, to have to buy a carbide hole saw just for this purpose because they're kind of expensive I think. So I'm fitting the side pieces um, in and I would already laid the bottom and back pieces and underneath those since they're against plywood I put some uh, thin set mortar. I ended up using a trowel. I think that my trowel was a little bit too small of a, it was a V-notch trowel, a little bit too small. But I, you know, you sometimes make these kind of mistakes. I also, you could see in the, briefly, I also had a um, shop back out there to try to suck up some of that dust. I was wearing a mask at the same time, but So I can't remember if I've said if I said this already in the first part, but um, I made these little pieces of I took a cereal box and made these little pieces of um, scale representation of the cement board. So it's um, one inches a foot, I think. So they're three by five, and then um, I used that to try to lay out each piece that I would need and then um, that way I had an idea of how much to buy well the big the reason why I wanted to mention this is because I made a mistake and I forgot to include what piece was it yeah the, the piece that you sit on um, and 
So what I did was, I mean, it'll be really complicated to show you how I did it at first and then how I tried to fix it because I drew over, you know, the first one drawing is the first plan and the second drawing is the, the second, how I fixed it. So anyway, there were long pieces. I had a big piece for the, the front that I was calling the face and then I had long pieces separated out. Well, then I decided to get those from a different piece. Anyway, long story short, I was able to squeeze it all into the original. I bought three pieces. I was able to squeeze it all into that three. So that was pretty exciting. Um, and it may, means I had a lot less waste. Um, this is an example of the, car, the piece that's for the sides. So here's where the backrest is, and then this part, this part um, goes along the bottom. So I was getting two out of two, I can get two of those out of one piece. And then I have this big triangular shape of waist. So anyway, I'm glad it worked out and I didn't have to go buy another piece. The amount of, the margin of error is like this much. That's how much extra room I had. Um, otherwise it wouldn't have worked. So anyway. So here are the pieces for the part where the drain will be and the front part that I was calling the face. Um, the structure that I was so putting these pieces on to cut them just happened to be in the backyard of this new house. So that was, so convenient um, using the angle grinder saved me so much time and helped me to complete the project in a, in a more timely manner this here is the sort of um, drain access the overflow will come through through here um, and go down through the floor uh, Right now I'm opening it up so that I can kind of trace inside there to know where to cut the hole for the overflow drain into the cement board, which you can see right here. That's where, um, where it's supposed to go. I chiseled it out just like I did with the drain hole. And yeah, that's all about that. But um, then I had to cut out the cement board for these rail parts of the thing and here I'm using that trowel that I think is a little bit too small of a tooth for the application but like I said sometimes you make mistakes and learn it's screwed and mortared so I'm not too worried about it there being a problem but uh, when you do something for the first time you're bound to make some mistakes. Um, what's cool is I got the screws that are designed to go with a cement board like this, and they go in so well. They're like uh, self-tapping and self-countersinking. So that was fun to use. And then I go ahead and went ahead and um, sealed the joints with some tape and some more thin set. So that's all I have for this video. Please uh, stay tuned for part three where you get to see the final tub. I wasn't able to get it all fit in just one video because it's not done yet. Um, it's I've been working on it for like the past two months or something. Um, in any case, uh, if you continue watching my videos or have subscribed, I just wanna say thanks so much. I really appreciate it and uh, Please keep watching or check out some of my other videos. Um, bye.